Many Seventh-day Adventists, especially leaders in the church, mostly in North America, will get really upset and start foaming at the mouth when you label the Adventist church as pro-abortion. We are not pro-abortion. We have never been pro-abortion. Yes, we are pro-choice, but we are not pro-abortion. In a separate video, I spend time explaining what it means when an Adventist says that the church is pro-choice, but in this video, we'll focus specifically on the phrase pro-abortion. We are going to examine whether or not the Adventist church is really pro-abortion. It's not difficult. We just pull out the dictionary. The meaning of pro is supporting or agreeing with something or on the affirmative side in favor of. The reason why people use the phrase anti-abortion or pro-abortion is because it describes the nature of the act. Abortion is the willful, deliberate, and intentional killing of a little boy or girl in their mother's womb. That little child will live or it will die. There is no neutrality. Neutrality is not an option because there is no middle ground between life and death. Either you support or agree with the act of intentional abortion or you do not. It's that simple. The doctor will perform the procedure or he will not. It's either yes or no, one side or the other. Here are 13 indisputable, undeniable facts. Fact number one, the phrase abortion for a mother's health is the exact same phrase used to justify abortion on demand. The very public official position of the Worldwide Adventist Church states right here, black and white, that yes, Adventists do support and affirm exceptional circumstances to kill children for a mother's, quote, health. Abortion to save a mother's physical life is different because by definition it is not intentional because the intent is to save life. However, abortion for a mother's social health, emotional health, financial health, mental health, if a mother is depressed or feels sad one day and wants to murder her child, then yes, the Adventist church by definition affirms and supports that and is by definition pro-abortion. Fact, Ryan Bomberger, Pam Stenzel, Trayvon Clifton, Christy Hoffer all conceived in rape or incest yes, the Adventist Church is very pro-abortion and supports killing them. Here is Dean Cullinan, a theology student from Weimar College. He was also conceived in rape and his Adventist Church supports killing him because of the crimes of his father. Children conceived in rape are completely innocent and we know they are innocent and we know that Jesus hates the shedding of innocent blood, but we affirm and support killing them anyway. This makes us, by definition, pro-abortion. Also, a child conceived in rape is completely healthy and is not a threat to the mother's life. When we Adventists tell the world that it's okay to kill children because of rape, this is for social or emotional health. In other words, we Adventists tell the world that it is okay to kill someone else if it makes you feel better. Here's a question for you, the viewer, fill in the blank. When somebody says that it's okay to violently kill someone else in order to feel better, then they are pro what? Go ahead and fill in the blank. Fact number three, it states right here that we Adventists do affirm and support killing children who are handicapped or disabled. We had to choose a side whether imperfect children should live or not and the Adventist Church chose to kill them. We are very pro-abortion. It's an undeniable fact printed right there in black and white. Jesus said that children born with defects can bring glory to God, but we Adventists reject what Jesus said, and instead, the church teaches that it's okay to kill them. And here we go, notorious abortionist Dr. Edward Allred boasted that he was responsible for violently dismembering over 250,000 children via abortion. He also boasted here that he has performed more abortions than anyone else. Fact number four, Adventist institutions openly honor Dr. Allred by naming their business center after him. Dr. Allred's business of killing thousands of children is listed right here as the inspiration and economic philosophy for Adventist education. And Dr. Allred is honored right here as the example forever to Adventist students. And this Loma Linda University and Medical Center is listed here as the official flagship, the flagship medical and educational institution of the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church. And Dr. Allred is honored as their number one benefactor right here. Honored again right here. And this very pro-abortion doctor who has sliced and diced and ripped apart and butchered hundreds of thousands of little children is honored right here as the distinguished ambassador of the Adventist Church's official 
flagship medical institution. When you honor the most prolific serial killer who boasts of killing more children than anyone else, you are not just pro-abortion, you are very pro-abortion. Fact number five, over a period of at least 30 years, many international news media have on multiple occasions publicly humiliated the Adventist church for this rank and gross hypocrisy. Leaders in our church and independent ministries saw this but did nothing. When you are willing to undermine your mission, ruin your influence for Christ, and when you are willing to sacrifice your church's reputation for the sake of abortion, you are very pro-abortion. Fact, leaders in the Adventist church argued to the state of Maryland that Catholics should not be allowed to build a hospital because Catholics don't allow abortions. When you petition a secular government to forbid Catholics to build a hospital because they won't kill innocent children, not only are you pro-abortion, but you are an enemy to a healthy civil society. By fighting against hospitals that want to protect life, you are fighting to ensure that no community is safe for children. This is the clearest proof that the Adventist posturing that we care about health and well-being and the prosperity of society is a complete fraud. We are so completely sold out to the satanic ideals of the sexual revolution that not only will we defend child murder, but we will openly and publicly oppose anyone who does not perform it. Fact, it is a documented fact published in our own official magazine and journals published in international newspapers like the Washington Post and documented and published in official government medical records that Adventist hospitals with the Adventist name with the full and complete approval of Adventist church leadership have violently attacked and murdered tens of thousands of children and they killed these children in the name of Jesus healing ministry. We are not just pro-abortion. We are a special kind of pro-abortion. We are a disgustingly wicked and blasphemous kind of pro-abortion. Fact, students, staff, and teachers from Adventist schools and universities have marched in pro-abortion parades because we are very pro-abortion. Fact number nine, a prominent Adventist physician went to churches openly publicly defending the right to abortion. This man stood up as a representative of the Adventist church and told other denominations that not only is God pro-abortion, but that in his practice, this doctor had himself killed many children via abortion, and that when a child survived the attempted abortion, this very same doctor just took the baby and let it sit on the table and die. This was published in the news and was no secret to Adventist church leadership, and they of course did, they did nothing. When you are a leader in the Adventist church and you have Adventist physicians in the pulpit lying about the Bible, admitting to murder, and teaching people to accept murder, and as a leader you do and say nothing, it is because you are very pro-abortion. Fact number 10, the World Church has been brought to vote on women's ordination three separate times, but in over 48 years, the World Church has never been allowed to vote on abortion even once. Whether a woman should be ordained gets voted on three times, but whether a woman should even be born doesn't get voted on even once. This is an absolute disgrace. Church leaders have continually rejected the Bible, rejected transparency, rejected the people that make up this church, and have continually denied a vote because they are so committed to the pro-abortion agenda. Another fact, it states right here in our own official magazine that the annual council overwhelmingly approved more than 90% majority the pro-abortion guidelines. And Liberty Magazine said that only five of the delegates said no. Again, get the dictionary. You support something when you vote for it. When over 90% of your top church leaders vote in favor of pro-abortion position, it is because you are very pro-abortion. Fact number 11, there are members of Congress who openly profess to be members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Both Raul Ruiz and Sheila Jackson Lee are so pro-abortion that they consistently score 100% for the National Abortion Rights Action League. To give you just one example, the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act was legislation introduced that if an attempt to perform an abortion fails and if the child survives, then the doctors and hospital staff are mandated by law to provide the same care as would be provided to any other child born alive. In other words, a child survives an abortionist's best efforts to kill her. The child is alive and breathing outside of the mother's body. 
This legislation would ensure that this baby would be cared for just like any other newborn baby. However, Adventist members of Congress Ruiz and Lee both voted against this legislation. They voted that if you try to kill a child in the womb and it is born alive, then it's okay to let the child die. And that is just one example. These two are notorious for supporting and defending unfettered, unrestricted access to kill children even until birth, and as we see here, even if they are born, they still support killing them. Leaders of the Adventist Church of course say absolutely nothing because they are very pro-abortion, but it gets worse. A woman who openly legislates to murder children is brought to an Adventist university, brought into the Adventist church, and is allowed to speak in the pulpit on Sabbath morning, and is congratulated, honored, and given a trophy. This is an absolute abomination and disgrace. It's another fact, Walla Walla Adventist theologian Pedrito Maynard Reed openly honored and invited Planned Parenthood's CEO to be the speaker for his event, the organization which has murdered multiplied millions of children Adventist theologians unashamedly invite them as their speakers. Other Christian denominations saw this and were horrified, but of course, no apology from the church. And right here, Loma Linda theologian Ciro Sorachakun publicly signed his name to a declaration that demands abortion as a human right. This religious declaration was the idea of a public relations director for guess what organization? That's right, Planned Murderhood. She left Planned Murderhood to start a religious organization to force churches to become like Sodom. This organization also demands that no theology school receive accreditation unless they accept pro-abortion and other sodomite values. These things are not secret but done openly. An Adventist professor of religion very publicly promotes a declaration intent on destroying Adventist values. These are just a few examples. There are more. Leaders in our church of course said and did Nothing, because we are very pro-abortion. And are you ready for this fact? Some of you may not know this one. Well-known Adventist attorneys submitted legal briefs to the United States Supreme Court arguing to block abortion restrictions. Example, celebrated Adventist attorney Lee Boothby, an attorney at the General Conference Robert Nixon, in the case of Webster versus Reproductive Health Services, argued to stop anti-abortion legislation. That is to say that they want to allow child murder. They want laws to protect the murderer, but they don't want to protect children. And all of this is a matter of public record. When you have attorneys at your church headquarters arguing to dehumanize the unborn and defending the murder of children, you are very pro-abortion. Now take a moment and just think about this terrible irony. We Adventists all over the world who stand up and preach that the USA will one day fulfill prophecy by speaking as a dragon have themselves appealed to the highest court of the USA to enforce death decrees brought about by the dragon. Millions of children are violently murdered every year by abortion and since the Adventist church began supporting abortion multiplied hundreds of millions of little boys and girls have been dismembered and ripped apart. This is the number one greatest holocaust that has ever taken place on planet earth and the Adventist church not only supports it has participated in it, but has shockingly appealed to the voice of the dragon to protect it and ensure that this genocide continues. We are a church of violence. We are a church of bloody murder. Satan could not ask for anything better. The Seventh-day Adventist church has become Satan's number one most effective agent because church leaders have used the language of present truth and religious liberty. They have used the healing ministry of Jesus Christ to cloak and to hide this extremely wicked crime, the violent attack and murder of children. Never, ever, 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 ever let any Adventist tell you that we are not pro-abortion. We are, by definition, very pro-abortion. This sin of abortion was brought in and has remained in our church because of the abuse of language, because of deceptive, misleading, and false language. And as a member of this church, I refuse to be a party to this. I reject this abuse of language. 
the reason why Adventists, especially church leaders in North America and the GC, the reason they get so upset when you label the church as pro-abortion is because they desperately want to be accepted by the world while at the same time claiming to be God's special remnant. They want so much to be accepted by the media and academia and their colleagues. Just like Ananias and Sapphira, just like Achan, just like Judas, just like Lot's wife, they desperately want the favor of this world while at the same time laying claim that we are the special people called of God. And there is nothing, there is nothing that so clearly reveals, there is nothing that so clearly exposes this hypocrisy more than abortion. More than anything else, abortion reveals just how far away we are from God. And it reveals our allegiance to the satanic altar of death and violence and it reveals that when we have to choose, we will not have this Jesus to reign over us. Never let an Adventist tell you that we are not pro-abortion, because by definition, we are very pro-abortion.